A city councilman in Oklahoma City wants to close a loophole in discrimination in the workplace. Yeah, what he's doing is he wants to ban discrimination based on sexual orientation. The city council delayed voting on this measure, but Fox 25's Marissa Mendelson tells us this issue is not going away anytime soon. Oklahoma City has around 4,300 employees. Now Councilman Ed Shadid is on a mission to protect them from discrimination. Right now the city has protections in place for race, uh, national origin, political affiliation, disability, gender, age, uh, but not for sexual orientation. Councilman Shadid says many people falsely believe they are already protected. There is no federal or state law that protects employees based on discrimination uh, for sexual orientation. The fact is, is it only adds two words to the existing policy and those words are sexual orientation. Um, this would bring us in line with many, many other municipalities in terms of equality for all people when it comes to employment. Scott J. Hamilton, the executive director of the Cimarron Alliance, says he knows a lot of cases where people were discriminated against in the workplace because of their sexual orientation. We hear frequently from people who are bypassed for promotion uh, because of their sexual orientation. The ACLU of Oklahoma believes the policy will pass. Its executive director says the ACLU of Oklahoma's commitment to equality is unwavering, and the members of the Oklahoma City Council have a decision to make. On which side of history do they want to stand? Shadid says he's confident the measure will pass, but it's up to his fellow council members to decide. This is not a question of uh, morality. This is a, a, a question of business. This is good business. Marissa Mendelson, Fox 25 News. So the Oklahoma City Council is scheduled to vote on this measure Tuesday, November 15th. Mayor Mick Cornett and Council Members Meg Sawyer and Pete White say they support it. Larry McAtee says he doesn't know where he stands. And we have not yet heard back from Councilman Gary Mars, David Greenwell, Skip Kelly or Patrick Ryan. We all are here in solidarity, standing, making sure that we are we are heard and we are voices and we're not discriminated anymore. And people rallied today in support of those proposed changes to the city policy. They're at the Cimarron Alliance there. They share the big news about the city council board's eventual vote and inform people on how to move forward.